Well, on the women's side, I think we got um, several women through in the middle distances in the eighth, a thousand a mile. I think we did pretty well. Um, we missed a couple that I was hoping we get through. Um, one in the mile and one in the thousand. I thought we might get one more in each of those. Um, but overall, pretty good day. The DMR obviously went really well, and then we came up a little short in the 5K. Um, on the on the men's side, um, we got Malik through in the 60. That was good. We got um, Brandon through in the 600. Um, Brad through in the 800. A couple through in the thousand, three through in the mile. So those were all good, but I, we were hoping for a little more. And I think where we really came up short on the men is in the five thousand. We were we were hoping for twenty points. We got nine. So that's that's a big hit. Um, Jacob did a great job. Got second. Um, he's become very very consistent, and um, I guess a really good field. Got second place. So so we're proud of him. Um, and then obviously both DMRs were awesome. We had some we had some good and we had some bad. Um, we had, we're had hoping for a few more points with the women at, at some of the distance events, uh, a few more in the middle distance events for the men. Um, but we also had some really good highlights. You know, Jacob got second in the long jump, which is great for us. Uh, you know, of course, capped off the day with the DMRs both winning. That was huge. Um, got some good, got qualifiers in the mile, in the thousand, in the 800. Sort of the people that we expected had made it. Um, you know, but we were also off in a couple places. You know, Tyler Jackson in the 600 he just missed. Trey Taz was the first one out in the 800. And um, so we had some good and we had some bad. We kind of need a little bit of luck to go on our side to uh, sort of contend for the win. We're going to kind of crunch the numbers tonight and see if we're still in contention um, with the men. So let's see. I think we in the same boat as last year. It's as good as any. You know, things are going to go our way. Things are going to draw from Texas, and that's. That's just a flip of the coin whether that happens, but I feel like we can do it. You know, we've got some people in places we didn't have last year and that we weren't expecting to, so maybe we can pull something out of the bag that we weren't expecting. Um, actually, I feel really confident overall, and the girls looked really good at racing today. Um, I know a lot of the throwers are really prepared for tomorrow, and I think that we're going to have a little bit bigger showing out than I think what people are expecting. It's going to be really nice. A little bit. I mean, Dave's always powerful on his speeches. He always likes to try and get a real strong message across about us really be I mean he just kind of always says that we're the underdogs and people kind of don't expect us to come up and take spots from other teams so I think he just he's as powerful as ever and I really like what he tries to convey with us so I feel like if people take that drive in we can win. It was nice. You can tell that he had a lot of confidence in us, even though the first day was a little rough. Uh, I mean, the confidence, the talents there, it's just a matter of going out and doing what we do best. And obviously, that's running, that's throwing, that's jumping. And once it comes together, I think it's really going to click. What I learned from today is that you're not always going to hit them out of the park. You know, in the last couple of years, we've been on fire at this meet. This, you know, I, we've, we've come out of the first day with an A+. Plus. I would say right now we're probably sitting at a couple of Bs, you know, on both sides, men and women. and not. Not terrible, but certainly we were hoping for better. Um, we can come back tomorrow and have a, a super day and maybe climb back into it.